don't take this too seriously, I don't care too much. Also, links in the description. Recently, XQC and Pokimane have gotten into a scuffle of sorts. A real brawl of the ages. Over the morality of taking a kick deal. <coughs> Subscriber, I'm gonna diddle your weenus. You heard me. This was what she said after someone asked her if she would have taken a deal from Kick, by the way. You fucking with me? I mean, <sighs> shit. I can't tell you that I wouldn't take that deal. And it's not because I got like 10 million dollars, it's just because I'm good as I am. You're lying. All I hear is broke energy. I'm so sorry, that was so uncalled for. I'm sorry, my queen. Never again. Why would I <clears throat> compromise my morals and ethics? for more money when I have money. Something about that is so cringe. I lied. Queen, you're cringe. Something about the way you just said that rubs me the wrong way. It's like you were trying to slide that shit under the radar. Like, I, I understand, you know, if you, if you need to make money, right? What if you want to get more money for a project or even just an activity? Hell, just give it to your future kids. Can people not chase after wealth if they want? Say the rich are morally bankrupt all you want, but they're allowed to be rich. No problem with having more money. Just don't be a dickweed. For me to do cringe shit when I have my- I can't. Like, ew. <laughs> Why is it cringe? Let the bro get the bag if he wants. Don't try to take this out as some moral debate. How do I- Can someone put this into words better than I can? It's almost embarrassing. It is. There was a stream too, but I'm not really gonna go over that full debate. I feel like you guys can watch it for yourself. But I'll say this, Pokey calling him live was such a weird ass move. I just think that she can't take the L. It got so heated that Hassan came in like a fucking wrecking ball. However, before we get anywhere near his ass, I'll respond to some of Pokimane's comments. It's not the streamer's job to keep kids away from gambling. XQC is not responsible for stakes decisions or even marketing. They're not even responsible for kicks, for that matter. The moral debate also seems childish when taking into account Twitch litters Amazon Prime everywhere. And if you don't already know, look it up. It's a real fucking treat. Here the workers are treated fairly at Amazon. Credit to Penguin Zero for that shit. I don't know why he's getting dragged for it. He also pointed out that Kick only reserves steak ads for really the gambling section, which means you're not really gonna find it on any other section. So it's not really promoting it as much as it's designating it to a certain area. It's not really looking good for their argument. I don't think XQC went in with the intention of purely gambling and teaching kids to gamble either. He's just streaming like you, and while he may gamble, that doesn't mean he should have to baby his audience. It's not his job. The kids shouldn't be watching him or even the fucking gambling regardless. They shouldn't be on YouTube or Twitch until a certain age, and by that age, they should be well aware of gambling and its effects. I feel like she could have taken the L and got away, but she clearly wants to make a point, and she's kind of fumbling it. I kind of get what she means, like he's doing it for money, working for a bad company, promoting gambling, sort of, blah blah blah, you're morally corrupt. But you want to grandstand that bad? Stream on a site that isn't owned by Amazon or Steak. But you're on Twitch and you're still streaming, showing your hypocrisy. But in any case, we have the man of the hour. I want to talk to Felix yesterday, but uh, I had to go get my ears uh, cleaned. Oh yeah? Are you, are you okay? What's going on? I was deaf for like 24 hours, but that's different. We, I'm in Japan right now. Um, Okay. And it's too early to go outside before everybody tells me fucking, you know, go outside and touch grass. I will be doing that later in my IRL portion. Fucking love this guy. But yeah, XUC, you said I was dog whistling. I don't even know how I would be dog whistling. There's some questions I have for you about what you said yesterday. Yeah, go ahead. So I'm asking, well, we ask can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm not asking it, Brett. All right, what's what, what's going on? Well, ask away. You said you didn't ask a question. Ask away. Bro, what NPC type fucking behavior is this? I was expecting him to have a question, like right off the bat. What is this? So I'm just gonna get to the juicy parts. Basically, Hassan and Pokemon explain it like this. Just get ready. They compare it to how a casino would give money to Britney Spears. 
to promote their fucking casino. And because Britney Spears has young fans and shit, those young fans are gonna go to the casino. And then they're gonna gamble. Kinda makes sense, but like, again, they don't really cram that shit in your face unless you already watch that stuff. Unless XQC is already playing a gambling game or just gambling in general, he's not really outright promoting it like you're saying. So that kind of falls flat. By this point, it just feels like they're weaponizing the argument to make him look bad. They're not really attacking the company, they're attacking him with the company's mistakes. They really want to make this about how he gave money to a corrupt company so bad so they can just feel like a better person. The worst part is they're really just giving this company a bad name too. Like none of their viewers are ever going to watch Kick really. It it's sad knowing that even Hassan agreed with XQC that Kick has potential. What uh, Stake's involvement with Kick is, regardless of whether or not uh, Kick survives and, and grows and thrives. What? Maybe. Wait, what? I describe it. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, I guess. And that potential is kind of being wasted now that they're kind of just shitting on it. Not really giving it a chance. It's pretty young. XQC said they want to go in a different direction. So why not let them do that and then judge them? If they keep on promoting the gambling even more, that's when you start questioning it. The fact that you guys are grandstanding now shows me the double standard. Why go after XQC at all for this? Let alone talk about the gambling aspect while you're on fucking Twitch. There's no way. I, I don't think this is real. However, next thing you know, XQC is saying that they're on some bandwagon shit. Based on what I've heard about them before, that pretty much checks out. I'm not really credible though. I'm also just gonna let this clip speak for itself, as when I saw this, I was just kinda laughing. What the fuck? But Paul Kian Hassan said quickly. that they do! What the fuck? What? The CEO says that it doesn't? What the fuck? Dude, it's not like I spoke to him the night before and I know that. It's not like it was confirmed to me internally and I told it to the public. It's not like that. All I have to do is ask Hassan for a false information. But yeah, bro just kind of gets proved wrong. So I don't really think XQC is a horrible guy for streaming gambling or even going to kick, which promotes gambling to a certain extent. But like, I'm gonna be honest here. If you really think that him accepting this deal really qualifies as that, him being a bad person, then I think you're rather close-minded. Like me, a guy who just judged a close-minded person for being close-minded. I think he's just a guy doing what he likes and experimenting. I don't think there's really a problem with that. I don't see much of a problem with it as I did with Ninja doing it. Unless I see XQC start indoctrinating kids on the street to start gambling, I'm willing to say his decision was no more morally bankrupt than stepping on a bug on your way to work or school. Flexing your morals and ethics on other people around you comes from pure insanity. I mean, insecurity, nothing else. Here's the thing. One, why the fuck in the past few weeks care so much about other people's situations, if that makes sense? People care about what other people do. It shouldn't have to fucking matter at the end of the day. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That shit, if whether a nigga go to another platform and sign a deal or is backed up by casinos or, 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 or gambling and shit, nigga, that shit got nothing to do with me, bro. I don't know. Based off that clip, if people are saying she's mad that about the whole situation, bro, if she's mad, uh, Pokey, it's not that serious, Pokey. You, you tell her, Kai. Why the fuck did she have to call him, too? Like, why does this clip exist? Why she gotta call the homie up for this? Like, chill. This also kind of speaks for itself. So you said, why'd you DM Ray asking her why she congratulated X? I didn't ask why she congratulated X. I asked if her everyone why is she so. tweeted, um... I guess in a way that was like supporting kick and i made it very clear to her i was like i'm not trying to reprimand you i just feel like we've talked about this kind of stuff before and i'm curious for your opinion as someone who's a friend of mine i think it's good to talk to fellow streamer friends about how they feel about something so you can also form your opinion whether you agree or disagree do you guys have friends no 
And this is why. I tweeted, um, congrats to XQC and Kick, because I, I think it's like a win-win situation for both parties. And she reached out and she was like, I was kind of surprised that you were publicly supporting it. She's really so mad that she contacted the homegirl. You think you have permission to speak to that man without talking to everyone, especially me? Like, didn't you say you didn't care about this? Why are people being dragged for this shit? This shouldn't have been an argument. For real though, like, why did you have to contact her over her congratulating XQC? That's really unneeded. I don't care if you wanted to talk it out. Plus, that comment was unneeded. Also, I brought up that Moist Critical tweet earlier. Yeah, that was between him and Hassan's editor. They kind of got into a scuffle too. Well, him and Hassan did. On a live stream where they debated it and kind of more or less talked it out like men. Hassan more or less, like, backtracked his statements he kind of realized how hypocritical it was still thinks they're a bad company not really retracting his statements on streaming with gambling and all that but he has come to terms with like it really isn't xqc's fault like he should be mad at stake and to an extent amazon because they also talked about that so that's about it see ya